Almost all automatic transmissions have some type of gear selector switch to indicate park neutral, uh, backup lights, even sending signals to uh, computers such as ECM, TCM, and so on. Uh, over the years, these uh, switches or sensors have changed not only in design, but name. So whether you call it a park neutral switch, an MLPS, TR, DTR, IMS, uh, they all do pretty much the same. Uh, for instance, I have an E4OD. When they came out in 89, they had a certain pin configuration and those had changed over the years so that by 95, Ford had to come out with an upgrade package to address 89 to 94 designs. And they released a kit, and we'll have the part number on it. Uh, and this kit is comprised of the electrical connector, and it also has a divider and a uh, backup for the wire. But it has three different rubber grommets. So you can have an eight pin, like the later model, or seven pin, or even a six pin to address whatever application you have. So uh, this was an issue from, uh, for a while. Then in 97, Ford came out with not the MLPS, but a DTR. And this DTR has 11 pins. And the uh, connector design, uh, the configuration is different. Instead of it being oval, it's more rectangular. So this has, of course, more capability as far as transmitting information, and the internals of this is much different than the older MLPS. So this is what E4OD 40100 used. Well, when they brought out, like for instance, the 5R55E, it is basically the same switch. It's still an 11 pin, and what they did was to address how it's mounted to the uh, transmission case. As you can see, the spacer, which is what the bolt goes through, is moved from one position to the other between a 4R100, 5R55E. So when you run into these differences, you have to know what they are and uh, is there an issue. If there's, all, if there's a question about interchangeability, always look at the electrical schematic as well. Uh, for instance, this is on AX4S and AX4N, and initially they had an eight-prong uh, setup, and then they went to a 10-prong setup, and on certain models, you could actually have 11 prongs or 11 pins. The cavity is made to where it could take up to 12 pins if needed. So the majority of them are 10 pin. Some models do have 11 pin based on requirement. Again, know which model you're working on so that you get the right, uh, right configuration and right pin count. When you get over on the import side, uh, same thing, you have that to contend with. For instance, this is an A5HF1, and this is actually a 10-pin connector. However, the plug that goes to it only has seven wires. So there's three of these pins that are not even being used on this particular application. So uh, again, when you look at it, you have to know what came off the vehicle. Uh, for instance, I also have the A6L and A6M F1 six-speed Hyundai applications, and the earlier models came out with a five-pin, even though this has a uh, configuration to accommodate more pins, this happens to be just a five-pin application. This is actually a seven-pin application for certain models, but you can see the configuration is uh, fairly common. The problem is 
There have been a number of super sessions on these and the replacement for this is actually now an eight pin connector. So even though you take off a seven pin, you're gonna replace it with an eight pin. So the point is, be aware of what you're taking off. Uh, if you have to replace it, don't be concerned if the proper switch is not the same pin count as what came off. So you have to know about the uh, upgrades and interchangeability. Make sure you get the right one. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.